So a couple of days ago, somebody commented in one of my videos, or on one of my videos, uh, that they'd like me to do something about tools and uh, clay and and how to use the tools. Well, I don't, I don't know how to show you how to use the tools because everything that you do, sculpture-wise, determines how you will use the tools. And for me to try to show you how to use a tool, um, everybody's going to use them differently. But I can give you at least a uh, good selection of tools that you can think about getting uh, through Sculpture Depot in, in uh, Colorado. They offer everything that a sculptor would ever need. Uh, armatures, everything. Um, but let's go ahead and get started on this video. It's a five years old. I did, made this video back in 2017. And it still holds true today. Time to play with some clay. I just thought I'd go through some of the tools that you'll need to uh, uh, do a horse or anything, actually. Um, these are my wire tools here. I have a bunch of uh, metal tip tools here, and uh, it's a combination of, uh, you know, tips of like a ball here. I, I just started using these a couple years ago, these ball tip tools, and I really, really like them. I got them in different sizes. All these can be purchased from uh, Sculpture Depot in, in Loveland, Colorado, SculptureDepot.net. Let me get the clay out of the way. Um, and I've taken some tools, metal tools, like, uh, like these metal tools here, and I've cut them in half at a machine shop, and I've drilled a hole into a wooden dowel to accept the, uh, the, the, uh, part of the, uh, metal tool, and then I've glued them in with super glue, and then on this one I put, uh, you can't see it hardly, but I put fast steel over uh, the uh, between the dowel and the tool and sort of blended it in. It just adds a little more strength to it. This one doesn't have the fast steel, but it just has, uh, I think I just used basically Elmer's glue, but I can't remember because it's been years since I made these. It just makes it easier to hold the, the tool to have a uh, wooden handle on it. And uh, so I find that very handy. But uh, the wire tools are extremely useful. I've, I've seen people who have very basic wire tools, and believe me, you, you need the best that you can get. And these are glyptic wire tools. They have interchangeable uh, wire tips on them. Uh, loosen up an Allen screw right there and take the, the uh, wire out and exchange it with another wire um, to match the handle or whatever. They have different size wire tools uh, or wire ends that fit into the uh, each different uh, handle. Like this handle here is probably, well it's a huge handle and uh, there's the Allen screw there and so I've got, it's a double ended one and it's a serrated edged tool and, and that gives you texture in your clay. You can see it there and then the other side is is smooth and here's the other end of it and I've put another shape tool in there. But these glyptics are indestructible. I mean they literally are and if you have to replace the wire uh, head it only costs something like a couple of dollars. It's not that expensive because if you were to replace a tool uh, like this wire tool, and I've had to repair this one because the uh, wire uh, broke loose, and uh, so that's why you see the tape around the bottom of it. Uh, if you have to replace this tool, you have to buy the whole tool, which can cost you $20, 30 because these uh, wire tools, uh, anything dealing with artwork is expensive, tools or otherwise. These are 
and it, uh, must have is a good exacto knife and some blades. Uh, another indispensable tool is a pair of architectural calipers. They have uh, needles on the end of them and uh, it's for measuring uh, things and then transferring it to your uh, hard object. Uh, people are measured in head lengths so this you can work out your head lengths uh, with this. That is indispensable. I can't sculpt really well without it. Uh, let me see what else have I got. Of course I got a bunch of different wire tools. Now these tools here I'll put this background up so you can see it. These tools here are real small wire tools. This has got a real small loop on the end of it and uh, it's uh, very handy. I got these from Ken's Tools Dot com. Uh, a lot of people in the uh, movie business use uh, this kind of tool uh, to put details into uh, monsters' faces and and uh, wrinkles and all that stuff. They're very handy. Uh, I don't use them as much because I haven't had to get into that much detail, but uh, it's nice to have them if you have so to. I do want to show you. Uh, what I what kind of clay I use? I use I use Chavant's uh, NSP Soft in this uh, video, and I found it to be a really nice clay. It doesn't uh, develop any scales or dry areas. It stays soft for pretty much forever, and it comes in five pound blocks, and I'm currently put under a 100 watt bulb to uh, soften the clay up and now I'm uh, with a swing arm lamp and now I'm uh, cutting the clay into workable sections that uh, can hot warm up quickly and uh, I can use quite easily now this clay from Chavant. Uh, actually, I would order it from uh, SculptureDepot.net in uh, Loveland, Colorado. They sell a lot, and, and I found that this uh, little, I don't know what it's called, a pasta tool, uh, some kind of cooking utensil for making who knows. Uh, I've never used it for cooking. I've always used it for uh, cutting clay up but it's really handy it has a ruler on it if you need one at least this one does and uh, they're not that expensive you, I think you can get them at most uh, department stores and, and uh, well you know hard well I don't know if you can get them at hardware stores I, cooking stores cooking supply Walmart, Kmart, just about any uh, store carries these. The uh, round top helps your hand. You don't, uh, when you're cutting through hard clay, it doesn't hurt. Okay, this is how I soften my clay up. I've got a swing arm lamp with a 100 watt bulb in it. Uh, hard to find those, I guess. I don't know. I, I bought, when I heard that they were going to outlaw 100 watt bulbs, I started buying big uh, quantities of uh, 100 watt bulbs and I've got them in my studio here uh, and uh, whenever I run out of a bulb I go and get another one so I've got probably enough bulbs to last me for my lifetime anyway the 100 watt bulb softens the clay nicely hard to find good swing arm lamps anymore uh, it they are just not uh, built like they used to be they're just very cheaply done and see, it's hard to keep them in place and so they don't start falling. All right, that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed that video. And I hope it was informative. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Happy Easter. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me.
Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.